Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Warner, and um, I am paying a tribute to my Ibu family. Um, I work with a family that is from Lagos, and I thank them for uh, the knowledge and wisdom that I have learned from working with them. And um, when I tied my hair up this morning after I worked out, I thought about taking it down, but then I looked and I said, hey, I see my family um, from Lagos, and so I thank you for everything that you've done. You know who you are, and um, I just wanted to encourage people because there is some intense energies that are coming in, and it's not a negative. It is a positive. You can feel it in your heart. Um, the heart is expanding. And a lot of the energy will have to do with Aries pushing you forward, but not using that energy aggressively or becoming frustrated because you feel like you can't get things done. Um, balance out the energy by uh, praying concerning um, that energy just that, that feels like it's pushing you, pushing you and driving you. Um, talk to it and tell it that you can't make things happen, that things happen from the core, from the God um, head, from uh, the goddess within you, God and goddess. So the core being the heart means that um, if you're feeling driven, you could get caught up in the drive as a human being. And the reality is that you actually have to wait on God. You can do the work outside here, but you got to wait on God to um, fulfill it uh, amongst the people that you work with or your relationships, wherever the circumstances may be lying. Um, the other part is Chiron, Chiron the Wounded Healer. Chiron may be in your chart, and you could look at it and see and understand why um, you may be experiencing um, pain in the heart. It's not that people around you have really disappointed you. It is um, the need to clear that uh, painful energy that's sitting in the heart. And so I brought up the scripture um, in Psalms 34, I meant 37 and 4, and it says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. And um, where we fall short is... Um, delighting ourselves in ourselves, delighting ourselves in our thoughts, delighting ourselves in the hurt, the pain. A lot of people don't catch themselves uh, thinking about the past, the trauma, the hurt. But when you begin to actually pay attention to the fact that you're dwelling in the past on hurt, um, heart, harm, chaos, and pain that you've experienced, you can bring yourself forward and say that is over. And, um, you're into the presence right now, which will take you into the future of your heart's desire. And that means that God does not dwell in the past because God is always creating futuristically. So if we catch up with God and stop looking at the past, like um, Lot's wife who turned into the pillar of salt, then we can catch up with the moment of blessings and and um, our heart's desires because a lot of people say well did God forget me and I don't believe that God has forgotten anybody because um, we don't forget people the thing is is that we forget to think positive or to read the word to induce um, positive outcomes you have to reprogram your, your um, subconscious mind uh, the truth being told in order for you to get what you really want you can't internally be in conflict and produce an outside um, manifestation of blessings. So um, the blocks that we experience or um, when we get to a place where it's like, what is God doing or what is God not doing? we got to look at ourselves and say, where am I meeting God at? Because he said he'll give you your heart's desire. But your heart's desire is in your heart. So then um, out of the abundance of the heart flow, the issues of life, what is your heart actually saying? So in this here day, in time, even I think until the next six years, I don't say this to, to um, make people afraid, but I am saying that we're becoming very acquainted with our pain.
And what that means is, is that I have to say, is my pain making me better or bitter? And if it's making you bitter, then you need to change it. Embrace the pain because you have something to give out of the pain. It's just like a baby. You have a child, but before you have a child, you're in a pain that is between the balance of life and death. And so in that, I want to conclude that everything works out for the good, but we have to start trusting to go within and trust our inner man, the spirit, connecting with the universe, our God, the same God that Christ talked about, and um, see the outcomes by healing. Healing. If we don't heal our hearts, which is the core of who we are, then everything in our body begins to break down and our life begins to break down. A lot of people are sick right now because their hearts have been um, broken. Uh, what's residing in the heart, anger and bitterness. If you're angry, your anger is not going to hurt anybody but you. If you are jealous, jealousy is not going to hurt anybody but you. Love conquers a multitude of sin. So every person that takes on maybe a challenge to love themselves and um, the circumstances that they walk through really love and, you know, cry. Let that pain out because you, if you keep holding on to it, then you stay in that anger and jealousy and envy type of mindset. But if there's a universe so vast that no one has discovered everything up there, and we say we worship God in... Um, our faith, how can you be counted out in receiving? It is us who count ourselves out. So we get into our hearts today and discover that the world is ours. God has given us everything that we need. It's not a religion. It is a spiritual experience because we are one with the Father. Amen. And so all things happen for the good. It, everything has happened for us for the good. And so I thank you for tuning in. I thank you for listening. Um, I thank you for the subscribers. I thank you even for making appointments for um, coaching, life coaching, spiritual advisory, that kind of thing. Um, I love helping people. Um, be ready to embrace the help if you uh, come into um, mentoring or consulting with me because I, I don't play when it comes to spirituality. I don't know everything, but this is some deep stuff that we're walking through, meaning life and what we see happening in um, the natural reality. Now, we have the power to change our spiritual reality for the better, but it all means that we have to do the work, okay? So you can go to www.ifwbuilders.com to see what we do in the community working and helping homeless individuals and families that are in poverty. Um, you can also make a donation at paypal.me slash interfaith or go to Cash App and it'll be the dollar sign IFW Builders. Uh, we do need help and then we do help others that are in um, organizations or have affiliated and um, created organizations because I believe that um, we are a brother's keeper. We are not going to make it if we don't connect and build each other. But listen, this here building is not about you only. It's about us. So don't call me and don't email me if you don't have the mind of selflessness or connectedness genuinely because us connecting is what's going to change things. Amen. All right. So you guys have a blessed day and thanks for tuning in. Share um, and like and thanks for... Um, my Ibu family. God bless you.